Hi everyone. Welcome to the beginning of May. Once upon a time, a little girl was born in a blighted steel town in western Pennsylvania. Her parents married in her mother's senior year of high school, and apparently she was conceived miraculously that night. I think they're mass off by about three weeks, but let's not mention that to them. Shh. <laughs> I was born in the summer of love on the Lion's Gate a few weeks after the Apollo moon mission on the eve of a crazed man's vision of Helter Skelter. I live with my mom and my maternal grandparents who were deaf in a very small town next to the Ohio River. My dad was in and out frequenting biker bars and shagging up with different women along the way, as I'm told. And I, um, had an eventful first couple of years in and out of the hospital, having accidents, falling down stairs, running into things, and developing sepsis. But um, I survived it all, and um, when I was about three or four, we moved into a trailer on my paternal grandparents' property in the woods. And um, this is when I began to develop a close bond with my paternal grandmother, who um, was originally from Western Pennsylvania and had a fourth grade education. And um, she was a hillbilly through and through and really didn't like um, doing anything domestic. And so I really took my um, lead from her and we spent a lot of time just concocting messes and throwing apples out of trees. <laughs> um, it was also during this time that I was exposed to a lot of erratic adult behavior, and um, I should put quotes around adult because my parents weren't really um, adults, I guess, at this point, because we're talking about people in their you know, late teens and early 20s. Um, I remember in um, middle school coming home and realizing that all this silver foil that was all around our house was actually marijuana and um, I also had the memory that I'd spent a lot of time in biker bars as a toddler which was a happy memory for me um, until I realized that I would get dumped there by a very angry mother but anyway this just kind of goes to show that um, in the Maslow pyramid of hierarchy of needs, art really wasn't on the list. Um, I was, however, a very musical child. I love the Beatles, Led Zeppelin runs through my veins. I um, eventually would um, take piano lessons. We got a piano that was donated and um, would go on to sing in um, middle school and high school in the choir and in church. and. Um, also played the mallet instruments and was in jazz band. So that was my um, artistic outlet. That and being in the woods was my way of escape. Um, I remember being very proud of being a coal miner's daughter. And um, when that ended in the early 80s, my dad went on to do janitorial work. My dad really could draw anything, but he didn't really put that talent to any use. And um, I, however, was told it was a good thing I was smart because I wasn't very artistic. But let's just see how that unfolds.